welcome back to video two of this build. Uh, basically, it's been, uh, so I started this tank on the 11th, I believe, of March. Uh, it has been, right now it's the 25th, so I mean, it's been 14 days, about two weeks. Um, the tank has finished cycling, uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add some fish. And I am doing a five gallon water change um, so that, you know, just to make sure everything's nice and well, I tested everything, everything checked out. I think my nitrates were sitting at like eight or something like that when I checked. So I'm doing the water change, eight's not bad. Um, I just don't want anything to really, you know, uh, accumulate as I'm adding these new fish because I am adding quite a lot. And I know what you're thinking, you shouldn't be adding too many fish, you should just add some tester fish. Um, well, my buddy kind of brought over the, uh, <laughs> all the fish all at once. I don't really want to put any in the frag tank. There's a royal grama in there. So, um, they're, you know, some of them can be temperamental. I never see this one, but I am adding a long fin fairy wrasse to the tank. So I don't want them to conflict. So I'm just going to add everything to this tank. Hopefully everything will be all right. I'll keep adding some microbacter and some start XLM, uh, some live nitrifying bacteria and all that stuff. Uh, just to make sure everything's okay, everything should be fine, to be honest. Um, there is quite a lot of um, service area for bacteria. Uh, maybe not in the display, but I did add in the custom caddies back here. Uh, that down there, that's just a bunch of matrix. Uh, so uh, both custom caddies have that in them. Uh, and that should help significantly with the surface area that I don't have in the tank because I did only use like 10 pounds of live rock, <laughs> maybe less. Um, so yeah, so I mean, uh, what we're adding today, you're probably not going to be able to see them. I acclimated all of them. Um, they're all just kind of hanging out down there. The long fin fairies there. I have two clownfish and two gobies. There are one goby, sorry. A rattles goby. Those are the two clowns. I have a Midnight Clown, a Naked Ocellaris Clown. That's the Flasher Rass down there, and the Gobi is a little transparent. It should be right there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get these guys added in, uh, get everything going, and then I will uh, show you guys again. And if you've noticed, I don't have a light on this tank yet. Um, I am actually thinking about going away from the AI Prime uh, and use that for another build that I wanna do. Uh, and actually put a Hydra 26 HD on this. Um, I will not be running it at anywhere close to 100%, maybe like 20% uh, would be fine for what I'm trying to grow in here. But um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna go that way. I'm not gonna add the light on for another couple weeks um, just to make sure that my nutrients are in check. Everything's in check and then I can kind of skip some of the ugly brown phase um, of everything. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I also do have a lid for the tank and that's gonna go on there. So I'll show you guys what everything looks like all said and done in one second. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the long fin flasher that I'm gonna be putting in. There you go. Go on ahead. Go on ahead. Very nice. We found a little spot. Let me see if I can get the Randall's Gobi, who is somewhere here. Fisher up next. Okay, here it goes. This is the Midnight Clown. Come on. Good guy. Cool. I have the Naked Clown as well. Alright, oh, he's a little feistier. The Naked Clown. And the Midnight. A dazzling pair of clownfish. Sorry for the dirty glass. Where is that man let's go? There he is. He darts. Alright, give me one second. I actually caught the Randall's Gobi, it didn't take too long. And we will see him. There he is. <laughs> Swimming off do his thing. All right, so all the fish are added. Um, I'm actually going to put this net uh, top on. 
Uh, I don't really like the net tops too much because they look a little bit tacky in my opinion. But if it's going to save me some fish, then uh, it will remain on. <laughs> so yeah, I got everything added. Um, have microvector in there. All the fish seem to be just finding a place to be. So everything should be good. So yeah, that's my uh, update for the week. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in a couple weeks. I will probably add lighting. I actually need to get a heater on this tank too. Um, and maybe some uh, media or wave maker or something like that. We'll see. Uh, but I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next one.